Hello everyone, how are you today? So, yesterday we talked about how to estimate and measure capacity. Today we will be solving capacity problems. How are we going to solve these problems? Of course, using one of the four operations that we learned during this year, either addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. Now, let's open page 639 in the book and solve together example one. Emily used 240 milliliters of lemon juice and 960 milliliters of water to make lemonade. How many milliliters of lemonade will she make? First, before solving the example, we need to understand and highlight the important information that we know. Emily used 240 milliliters of lemon juice and 960 milliliters of water and and this will show us that we will use which operation addition subtraction multiplication or division yes we will use addition so we need to add the amount of lemon juice to the amount of water that we have. So let's add 240 and 960. Of course, when we add, we start with the ones digit. 0 plus 0 is 0, 4 plus 6 is 10, so we'll leave the ones here. And the 10, we will give it to the hundreds place. 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 plus 9 is 12. So how much milliliters do we have of, uh, of lemonade? Emily will make 1,200 milliliters of lemonade. Moving now to example number 2. The total capacity of 8 pitchers is 24 liters. What is the capacity of each pitcher if each has an equal amount of lemonade? Write an equation with a symbol for the unknown, then solve. First, remember, we start by understanding the problem. They are telling us that the capacity of 8 pitchers is 24 liters. Here we have the 8 pitchers and we have a total of 24 liters. Which operation are we going to use? Addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division? Let's read the question and find out. What is the capacity of each pitcher if each has an equal amount? Equal amount is the clue for which operation? Addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division? Yes, it means we need to divide. It's a clue for division. So first, we need to write the equation with a symbol for the unknown. Here is the equation written for us with a symbol of this box, the unknown. We need to find 24 divided by 8. We, we learned this before. 24 divided by 8 is equal to? Yes, it's equal to 3. So there are 3 liters in each of the pictures. The unknown is 3. Remember, when we're using division, we always check our answer by using the inverse operation. Use the inverse operation to check. 8 multiplied by 3 is 24. So is your answer reasonable? Yes, the answer is reasonable. Now, Moving to example number three. Dylan is helping his dad wash the car. His dad filled up two buckets of, with soap water. These two buckets are filled with soap water. And two buckets with clean water. The capacity of each bucket is nine liters. What is the total capacity of four buckets total when we hear the word total it's a clue for which operation it can be addition or multiplication so 
addition and multiplication. Which one are we going to use? If we have four buckets and each bucket has nine liters. We have a repeated number. It means repeated addition. So we can use repeated addition or multiplication. Four multiplied by nine is what's the answer going back to the nine multiplication table four multiplied by nine is yes it's 36 so there are 36 liters of water in the buckets let's start our guided practice we have two questions in the guided practice we're gonna solve them then i'm going to leave you to solve the ind independent practice by yourself. Write an equation with a symbol for the unknown, then solve. Find the total capacity of liquid shown in the containers. Let's take a look at these containers. The first container has a total capacity of 150 milliliters. The second container has a capacity, has a total capacity of somewhere, has a total capacity of 150 milliliters, while the second container has a total capacity of 125 containers. We need to find the total capacity. Total, it means we will use which operation? Addition subtraction multiplication or division yes we will use addition 150 plus 125 equals let's put a symbol for the unknown let's add them vertically 150 plus 125 we always start with the ones place 0 plus 5, 5, 5 plus 2, 7, 1 plus 1, 2. So, the unknown is, yes, 275 milliliters of liquid is the total capacity of these two containers shown. Moving to number 2. Now that's a word problem. Let's read it together and remember we need to understand before we solve. Peyton's tea kettle holds 2 liters or 2,000 milliliters of water. She uses 350 milliliters of water for a cup of tea. How much water is left in the kettle? So, first we start by understanding the, pro the problem. The tea kettle holds 2 liters or 2,000 milliliters. Remember, we said at the beginning that 1 liter is equal to 1000 milliliters so if we have 2 liters it will be equals to 2000 milliliters now we need to know how much water is left in the kettle left is the keyword for which operation addition subtraction multiplication or division yes it's the keyword for subtraction so we need to subtract the 350 milliliters of water that she used for her cup of tea from the 2000 milliliters of water that she has in the whole kettle so we will write 2000 minus 350 we always start with the ones, 0 minus 0, 0. 0 minus 5, we can't do that. We need to regroup because we don't have anything in the tens place or the hundreds place. So we will need to regroup from the thousand place. The two will become one, hundreds will be 10, but now we need to regroup to give the tens place. So the 10 will be nine and the tens place will become we will have 10 tens 10 minus 5 is 5 9 minus 3 6 
1 minus 0 is 1. So, how many milliliters of water are left in the kettle? Yes, 1650 milliliters of water are left in the kettle. Now, let's discuss something. Look at exercise, exercise 2. How did you know what operation to use? Remember when we highlighted back here the word left? So from the keyword left, we knew that we need to subtract to know the amount left in the kettle. Now what I need you to do is to go and solve your independent practice. And remember, I'm waiting for your questions or pictures or text about this video or about the lesson if you have any questions always contact me through class dojo have a great day and talk to you tomorrow